very familiar, but there's a new style of music which has grown in popularity in the last three years, almost unnoticed. It's very exciting, it's got its own gigs, discos, radio programmes, it's even got its own newspaper. New releases sell thousands of copies, but it is nowhere to be seen in the charts. And in fact, only recently has it started to creep into record shops like this one. It's called Bangra, and it's Britain's invisible music. Bangra is the music of the British Asian community. It's a mixture of traditional Asian folk music and Western pop. An example of two ways of life blending but keeping the spirit of the ancient Asian music alive. In the 1960s, a lot of Asian people came to work in Britain from places like the Punjab in northern India. At weddings and parties, bands would play typical Punjabi music for people to dance to. This is a Sikh wedding and at some celebrations like this, the Bangor music grew to what it's become today. As young Asians born in Britain grew up, they listened to pop as much as Asian music. Bands began to change their song to suit the new taste and Bangor was born with the distinctive beat of the Dolak drum. Terrific dance music as top Birmingham band Atma Sangeet show. One of the reasons why Bangra music is relatively unknown is because the tapes and records are sold almost exclusively through Asian corner shops and record shops like this one. Asian groups like Hira, Alap and others sell enough tapes and records through Asian shops to get them into the charts. But these shops don't count when it comes to making up the charts. At the moment, it is very popular with the Asian kids, and uh, it's something that they go out and enjoy themselves. And uh, for especially for Punjabi weddings and everything, it's very good. As a parent, what do you think about Bangra music? Well, as myself, I have two kids, and one is eleven, one is seven. Uh, I think it's very good for them. At least they can um, learn Punjabi words from the uh, Bangra music because uh, they don't know, they can't speak Punjabi and uh, they can't write Punjabi. You know, they want to do, learn something about India as well. Why do you like it so much? Well, it's really our culture and it's, it's sort of good to know a lot of things about yourself. Do you think it should be played on stations like Radio 1? Well, I've heard it a couple of times on John Peel. You know, he's put the yeah, yeah, here, our Bangara music, as he calls it. <laughs> There's also a lot of uh, stations sprung up. Uh, pirate pirate radio stations coming up as well. It's quite a bit of that. It's really wicked. <laughs> what do you like so much about us? Uh, it's mainly the atmosphere inside the halls. So they just, you really get down to it. Bangra gigs are now packing out halls all over the country in places like Bradford, Manchester, and Leeds. I've come down to South Hall tonight to watch one of the top bands, DCS. As well as the smaller discos, Bangra has often packed out massive venues like the Dome in Birmingham and London's Empire Ballroom, daytime and night. But whatever the place, the message is the same. Get on the floor and dance. Even though Bangra grew out of one area in India, these days it's enjoyed by Asian people no matter what their background. I asked the DJ what he thought the future of Bangra is. It's going places, um, considering that over the past uh, three or four years, not that many people knew about it. Now, the likes of you lot have heard about it, um, as well as the street people. I mean, Bangla music was, as far as I'm concerned, always here in Southfield, as well as in the Punjab. But now it's going a lot more places than just Southfield. Do you see a time when it will get into Western charts? Definitely. It's more appealing than, I'd say, the dance music that you get on in sold uh, discos and what have you. It's certainly more vibrant. Um, I remember when I started out in DJ, and I used to be a soul DJ, listening to a lot of soul and jazz, but now I am 100% converted to Bangla music. Oh, to convert other people as well? Definitely. Why not? <laughs> Starting with you, yeah? Bangra is changing with the different trends in pop music. Some people think it should stay firmly with its traditional roots, while others want it to develop. But whatever happens, Bangra has brought a new pride to Asian music and culture. And playing live in the studio today, we have the biggest Bangra group here up, playing their latest single, Beat the Rhythm.